Okay, so I know a lot of you were asking um, what I did for my printer settings. So I have the Cricut um, app and the one that I did was this one. Um, but I'm going to actually use this one for the example today. You can either print directly from your computer um, and as the PNG or print from your Cricut. I like using the Cricut because I can do the um, print and cut. The only thing is um, that's just so that I have the right measurements. Uh, when this actually prints out of my printer, I actually don't use the cut function. I know it sounds weird, but it gives me a perfect measurement for my shirt, for what where I want to place it on my shirt. These are for adult shirts or a kid's uh, large 14 to 16 will also um, fit the size of adult shirts because if you realize the difference between a kid size large 14 to 16 to an adult small there's very a very small difference in between those sizes um, so that gives me the perfect dimensions that I want for sublimating on my t-shirt I'll print this off and I will actually just cut off this black box manually um, with a rotary cutter and a ruler it's just quicker for me than putting it on the Cricut um, to tell you the truth but I love this function because if you have not mirrored the image before you load it to your computer, you can mirror the image um, there and it's going to do that. But I've already flipped it beforehand, so I don't need to do that. I want it to print just as it is. So you're going to hit continue. And then you're going to send to printer. When you hit send to printer, you can make sure you switch your printers. Um, as you can see, I have a couple of these up here. Um, this is like a really old printer that I don't even have anymore. I need to take those off. Um, this is not my sublimation printer. This is just my regular everyday printer. So I have to switch it to my sublimation printer. Um, you're going to want to use system dialog. If you don't use system dialog, it's just going to send it to print, which whatever settings you have on the printer. But if you want to double check your printing settings, you want to use system dialog. Now, right here, after click and print, your dialog may appear behind your design space application. So we're going to hit print. And it is going to do it behind the design space application. I'm going to tell you right now because there's no way that we can see it sometimes. Um, sometimes it is going to pop up in the front, so it really just depends. Um, as you can see, I have this in default settings. I always keep it in default settings. Now, you want to show details. If you don't show details, this isn't going to show up. So I personally keep it in default settings. I printed my all of the ones that I printed I've done it with default settings and I have not have a problem with it the only thing different that I do after I show details is that I switch it from normal to best that is the only thing different that I do now this is printing from your Cricut to your printer using a Mac a lot of the screenshots and everything that you see is all based on PC computers not based on Mac so this is why I wanted to show this but if you do want it to change it you can change your um, Paper handling, cover layout, everything is there where, where to feed it from. But like I said, I always use default settings. I have never had a problem not using default settings to print, to sublimate. And the only other thing that I do is that I switch it to best. Now, media type is on auto select, um, which is fine because it's just going to go from, from the feed. Um, but you don't have an envelope. You don't have a letterhead. Um, a lot of people say to print it photo matte uh, paper. I personally haven't done it because it works just fine just with uh, default settings. But if you wanted to switch it to photo matte paper, this is where you find it at, um, right here. I'm not going to print this just yet because I want to show you how this would look at from doing it from your computer and not Cricut. Um, and I'll show you that first before I send it to print. Okay guys, so the first one was how to send it to print from your Cricut. This is directly from your files on your Mac. As you can see, I have a lot of files that has to do with Among Us. Um, my girls play it, they stream it, um, which is why I have that. But I already went ahead and separated this one. So you wanna go ahead and open this. Now when this opens, you're gonna have this up here. This is what you're gonna look at. This is not flipped yet. You need to flip it. So you wanna go to view and just kind of look at all these tools. So you're gonna go to tools and you're going to flip. If you flip it and it doesn't flip the way that you want, you can just reflip. So now that it's flipped and now that's ready to go. I'm going to close this up because I'm not using that. And now that it's flipped, you can go ahead and print. So you can do um, command plus P, which is to print, which is right here. Or you can just do file and then print. 
Now this is the same thing um, right here. So remember, you want to change this up here to the printer that you want to use. Um, it's on preview, it's on scale, everything is on here. This is the eight and a half by 11 inches. This is the reason why I prefer to print from my, um, uh, from my Cricut because this doesn't give me the dimensions that I kind of necessarily need slash want in order to um, be able to have the dimensions that I want for the t-shirts. Uh, there is a third uh, little trick that I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Because like if you go here and you change it, you can change it to 8 by 10. Um, but that's the paper size, and that's not going to help you. So that's not what you want to do. Um, so you want to go back to U.S. letter. Okay, and then you're just going to leave it there. So right here, we're just going to cancel the print. You know, as preview, it shows you everything. One of the things that I do sometimes is that I drag this actually into my photos. And then once that's added to my photos, and sometimes it takes a bit for it to show up, um, I'll just do one over here while it shows up because it's being added. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff that's being added right now because it's downloading. Uh, I, you guys probably love this one right over here. So let's just use another one since that's still being added. So let's just use this one. So when you add it actually from your photos and you print from your photos, because it's from the photo detail, it actually now brings you everything over here. So now what is it that you want to do? You want to do your Epson. You want to keep it on letter because that's what you are using. That is what you are going to be um, printing on the paper size. But you can actually change it to 8 by 10 custom fit fill five by seven now the reason i don't like those is do you see how it's kind of cutting everything off um that is just not going to be good for your design so if you have it to fit it's going to fit on the whole paper you're just going to have to take this black part out when you print it um, and then go from there so there's different options on how to send it to print um, at the same time when you send it to print you want to make sure that that's on color and you want to make sure that you're switching this to best. That's the main thing here, switch it to best. So there's different ways to send to print from your Mac to your um, printer. Um, and it just depends on preference. Like I said, I prefer to do it from my Cricut um, application just because it gives me the perfect dimensions that I want for the shirt and then I just cut it out. Uh, but these are different ways on how you can get to your printer settings on your Mac. I hope this helps.